Today's innovative educator, the classroom, is outside for this school. Everwell Forest School just opened this year in Garden City along the Boise River. Almost 100 students are taking part. And as Tammy Tremblay shows us, playing and learning go hand in hand for these kids. Oh, she's amazing. She's tough like mom. Tucked in the trees along the beautiful Boise River is the Everwild Forest School. I have an idea. Can you find me something that is red? And then also find me something that is prickly. Students here are having fun learning about nature. <laughs> that tickle. Erica Hermson started Everwild Forest School just this year, although it's been her dream to connect kids to nature for decades. I really wanted to do something that also helped to protect it. And in um, my opinion, I feel like we can really only conserve things that we understand and we can really only understand the things that we're taught. And so I figured that forest schooling or environmental education in general would be a great way to do that. Everwild Forest School has very small groups with a three to one student teacher ratio. Wow, look at all this stuff growing on these roots right here. Yeah. The youngest kiddos bring a guardian along. Starting at age four, they're dropped off for outdoor learning. Although it may just look like playing, Hermson says play is learning, especially at this young age. For example, even building um, something as simple as a bridge over a creek, which the kids do almost every day, uh, you know, utilizes uh, concepts in physics with um, gravity uh, and even geometry, which sticks are going to be long enough to reach across. And then they get to test it out, walking across that little bridge and seeing how it creaks and which areas does it bend. So they are literally, you know, experimenting. They're little scientists out there. And this is the best way to do it instead of a worksheet or a workbook. And there's positive health impacts too, being out here in the open air. There's a number of studies that point to how being outside, it doesn't have to be in the woods like this, even at a park, a green space, helps lower cortisol levels um, significantly and can really help with children, even in kind of um, stressful situations, stressful times like COVID, um, to help with resiliency and build them up in that way. Classes at Everwild Forest School happen rain, shine or snow. The main question, of course, is what do you do in winter? And it's like we gear up, we go out. And so, yeah, if, if there's no such thing as bad weather, if you have good gear, it's just so important for kids to connect to those seasons um, as well. It really promotes resiliency in the kids and adaptability. And honestly, it's the adults who are more like you know, uncomfortable and the kids are out, you know, of wading in the water. She's looking forward to many more days teaching kids about her passion. Second week in the middle of a pandemic. Yep. <laughs> Erica Hermson. Uh, vitamin N, <laughs> nature. This week's innovative educator. Isn't that a fantastic idea, especially with all the green space we have to offer here? And Erica Hermson says she had planned to open this year with just 12 kids to get started. Guess what? There has been so much interest in this, and I can see why. 95 kids are now enrolled with a wait list. Most classes happen twice a week, and if you'd like to nominate a teacher like her that is going above and beyond right now, send us an email, innovativeeducator at ktvb.com. And educators, for more information on submitting an application for a classroom grant through the Idaho CapEd Foundation, you can go to weloveteachers.org. And we certainly do right now, all the teachers out there putting in so much extra effort.